to access the RFID functions. The software needs to be connected to a selected RFID module. The user now issues the identify command. Identifying. The software receives and displays the results. The normal identification results show the different kinds of tags. Current. Expired. Ignored. Unknown. and also undetected tags. There is also a scheduling feature for tool identification. The user just needs to set the schedule. Schedule is now set. Once the schedule has been reached, the user can now choose to identify the tools. Identifying. The scheduled identification results show the location of the currently tagged tools in the inventory. Another feature of the system is the ability to identify tools due for calibration. The user just has to set the calibration identification schedule. When the schedule is met, the user can now choose to locate the tools due for calibration in the different RFID locations. The user now connects to a different RFID location and performs another identify. Identifying. Now that the user knows the location of the tool, calibration can now be done. The last important feature of the system is the online viewing of the inventory. After logging in, the user will now be able to view the inventory online. Aside from the inventory, the user is also able to view other things such as RFID locations, transaction history, and more. By using the print feature, the user is also able to print any of the tables shown on the website.